Hello everyone. Now this lecture is about the rise of feminism. The second wave of feminism took place uh, in the 1970s. As this picture shows, the first wave of feminism was uh, in uh, 1920. After a century of protest, finally on 18th August 1920, the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution granted American women their right to vote, known as women's suffrage. As we can see in the poster, the two women are holding a play card and it says votes for women. There was the voice of women during the Vietnam War. They called for an end to the Vietnam War because it was bringing misery to the common people. Two powers were fighting um, for their spread of ideology. America for its ideology on the spread of democracy and capitalism, whereas the Soviet Union was really very desperate for the spread of their communist ideology. So in the Vietnam War, America supported South Vietnam. It was a proxy war. America was not directly involved. The United States was not directly involved, but it supported South Vietnam against the communist North Vietnam, or as it was known as Viet Cong. So Viet Cong or the North Vietnam was supported by Russia and by communist China. So it was essentially a proxy war between the two bloc, the communist and the capitalist bloc. But between the rock and the hard place, the people who suffered were the common people. So the Americans, both male and female, started protesting against the unjust Vietnam War, the unjust Cold War. So this was the second wave of feminism in the 1960s and 1970s. And in this image, we can see anti-war protests in America in front of the White House in 1968. So the placards and the posters are saying, no more, stop the war. This is again a feminist protest, anti-war activism and feminism in the United States. The posters say US and Vietnamese blood is on the Congress hands. So they are shouting peacefully to end the war in front of the White House. So the Cold War tells us about the rise of feminism. The legacy of the Cold War was the rise of the second wave of feminism. So this image shows anti-war activism to anti-sexism. So this is the women, they are demanding equal rights. They refuse to be accepted as second class workers. And a poster is saying, we can stand conducting, we can sit down driving. The anti-Vietnam War activist and feminist Jane Fonda, she was very outspoken against the unjust Vietnam War and U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. With Jane Fonda, there were other Hollywood actors and actresses who stood against the Vietnam War and this poster says the show the Pentagon couldn't stop. And this is where the Hollywood actors and actresses, they had their performance and their voices against the Vietnam War. Jane Fonda, the Hollywood actress, 
she took a very vocal stance against the Vietnam War and she wrote in 1970 when I was 33 I learned that 5,000 women in New York were demonstrating for legalized abortion. I wrote in my journal, don't understand the women's liberation movement. There are more important things to have a movement for, it seems to me. So here she talks about uh, the uh, another issue that the women are very vocal, vocal about and that is the issue of abortion. The women's movement is still on. This picture was taken on the second women's march in January 20th, 2018, where there were, we can see some men also supporting the women and the uh, women all over, um, from all over the country, from all over the entire United States came and assembled um, in the in near the White House and uh, had their protest and their voice um, um, uh, against uh, um, President Trump's uh, um, uh, policies. And uh, so the picture shows that the women movement and feminism is still an ongoing thing. So this poster shows protest in America today on different human rights issues. The second women's march on the 20th January 2018 and I was there at that time in Washington DC so I had the opportunity to go and see the, um, the rally and the uh, event, uh, the protest at the time. It was a peaceful protest. Here we can see people holding posters and stop tweeting. That's the poster um, the uh, Superman is saying and uh, or the Batman rather is saying to President Trump. This poster on the 20th January 2018 on the second Women's March, um, it says we, we will stop marching when you start listening. So this is a young girl holding the poster. This is a man holding a play card at the second women's march in Washington DC on 20th January 2018 and the poster says the future is female. A man holding the play card, it's a, um, uh, it is a actually a woman holding the play card and she is saying girls just want to have fundamental rights. This poster says ban the dictator, welcome refugees and immigrants. So these are these uh, um, uh, statements are against US President Donald Trump's executive orders where he had Muslim ban and he also signed to build a Mexican wall um, to stop the Mexican entering the United States. So people protested against his executive order. Again here this poster says abortion safe and legal and accessible but then again there were people who were anti-abortion uh, there were women who were anti-abortion in this rally, but then again, they were uh, so there were different voices in this uh, uh, second women's march. So this poster is saying, "I'm a person, not an object." So this is a girl who is holding it, and uh, looks like she's speaking for abortion. She's in favor of the um, abortion um, policy. So finally, this is my picture and here I am as a researcher into the second women the march, uh, quietly observing the event and taking note of the situation and the mood of the day. Thank you.